Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard. So I am taking these uh, uh, plastic bags and creating uh, cordage. All I'm doing is I cut them, make loops, and then I'm just putting them around my leg. And then when I get a good amount of them, I cut them all and make strips. which is what I have here and then I take those strips and tie them together and then weave them on the loom so anyway that's got nothing to do with what this video is about I'm just <laughs> nice. yeah I'm just letting you know that's what I'm doing so when you see me do all this this stuff here like this you know you know why I'm acting weird anyway uh, I'm gonna do this video uh, I don't expect too many people to agree with it. Yeah. Um, and, and I'll be honest, I don't really care. Um, if you want to disagree, and if you want to disagree in the comments, feel free. But be nice about it. But, yeah, be nice about it. I'm not going to be mean in my verbalization of my belief. But I'm going to be honest. And I'll be, I'll be honest. I'm, for the most part, always honest even to the detriment of myself and others around me. So anyway, uh, no matter how you believe humans got here, whether you believe the Christian idea that their God created us, or whether you believe more in the alien Anunnaki type belief system, which I tend to go for more than anything else, or whether you believe we just appeared here just randomly out of just the goo that just happened to be here at the right time at the right place and blah 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 does not matter how you believe in our beginnings I will say this other than just randomly appearing if there was any design whatsoever either from your God or somebody else's God or just an alien force it doesn't really matter we were slaves now I know the Christians aren't going to agree with that but even from their stories clearly their God kept Adam and Eve around as a plaything. I mean there's no other reason for the way they were treated and crap like that but anyway and if you believe in the Anunnaki which really tends to be my idea is we were purposely created by an alien uh, which is the same thing the Christians believe they just call their alien God but anyway uh, we, we were originally just slave labor that's all we were now at some point we decided that wasn't cool and we broke our chains and we became less than the sheepish dog-like slaves that we were and we became predators we became uh, we, we took over our destiny we decided what we were going to do when we were going to do it and how we were going to do it and we were predators and we were damn good predators too now through time the majority, not everybody, not everybody, but the majority of people became slaves again. Voluntarily, nonetheless. Uh, as, as, a, as a whole, I think humans, in general, have the attitude of being slaves, being sheep, and being dogs. Now, the difference between a dog and a wolf is simple. The dog domesticated itself. Uh, we didn't do that, by the way. They did it for us. Uh, they domesticated themselves. Wolves did not. Uh, dogs are nothing more than a wolf that's decided to domesticate themselves. Well, I say this. I don't choose to be a dog. I choose to be a wolf. Now, uh, I just happen to be a wolf 
that lives in, around, and near society, which automatically to the powers to be makes them believe that I'm a dog. Uh, I'm not. Now, uh, I'm not old by any means. That I'm 56 years old. I'll be 57 at the end of the year. Uh, so I, I've still got a few years left in me. Now, uh, maybe 30, maybe 30 decent years. I'm going by decent years. I'm not, I'm not talking about the years that I'm going to be sitting around doing nothing or being ill and sick all the time, you know. I think I got about 30 years left. Uh, I am not about to become a sheeple or a dog in my last 30 freaking years on this planet. It isn't going to happen. No matter how hard society and the other sheeple dog-like herd want me to be. So anyway, uh, that's really all I wanted to say. I'm sure I've got more and I'm sure so more will come. I've been playing around with this for a little bit here and there for a week or so. Uh, and I want to show you my progress. I'm almost done with it. So uh, I've decided that at the end I tied a knot and then I put a piece of leather and then tied another knot so that that would hold it down. That's going to be the stop. Uh, I'll fix it up and uh, trim all this other stuff up here later, but right now that's that. I've pulled it a little bit taunt, not horrible, but enough to where I'm not going to have to do too much more with it. And pulling the rest of this down here lightly so that it gets a little uh, space. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I have this much left. I don't know how much it's going to take, but this uh, small little whatever it's going to become. I think it's going to become like a little pouch or a bag of some sort. Uh, I would like to do a uh, like a uh, a horse bag or some kind of animal bag that would sit over an animal, but I don't think that's going to happen. So basically, I'm just going to fold it. Then I will bind the sides together to make a pouch, and then this part will flip over and make a little cover but I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a, a pouch out of this just to just to play around with it I was wanting to do a two-sided pouch where this side would get done and then this side would flip over here and then I'd have a space in the middle and I'd have a pouch here and a pouch here and then this could lay over an animal but I don't have an animal that I could use as a pack animal and it's a little too small I don't even know if it'd be big enough for a goat really but uh, anyway, we're getting close. I'm really liking my uh, peg loom. And I'm not, not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad with it. I'm getting some pretty good proficiency with it. Uh, I can definitely do it. I can definitely make one of these out in the woods, use it, and create whatever I wanted to create uh, from this weaving process. I think this is going to be my main type of weave is this peg loom. <clears throat> I'm going to play around with other types of looms just, just to get some experience with it. But I really like this one. It's easy. I can do it. And, you know, once I find something I can do that's easy, that that's practical, there's no reason to go anywhere else or do anything else than what I already know. So... Anyway, this is just a, a quick one here. I'll get back with you when I get it completely done and when I really decide what I want to use this for. I'm not 100% sure really right now.